So this week we are tasting two Portuguese wines, one white, one red. The white is a Rinto. A high acid grape from Portugal. It's a great alternative to like a Sauvignon Blanc or Pinot Grigio if you're wanting to venture out and try something new. I highly recommend it. This is the bottle. It's actually really lovely. It smells really delightful. And it's got this really distinct minerality and really bright citrus. How are you? Good. A hint of orange peel, um, wet rocks. Oh. Whoa. Initially, there's a little bit of a sweetness. Peaches. A honey peach kind of sweetness. Oranges this is kind of neat. And then there's like a saltiness that cuts that. Explosion of flavor. It's delicious. This wine was a plant. What would it be? Something cute but elegant at the same time. So the Orinto, I think, would be hibiscus because it's unique and beautiful. Plumidia. Plumeria? How do they say it? It would be an orchid. It's like slim and elegant and has some uh, finesse. So let's move uh, on. Another wine from the same vineyard, Quinta Verzea de Pedra. But this one is their Tinto Reserva. So it's mostly Syrah and Torrigo Nacional, which is a Portuguese grape. And a lot of people consider it one of Portuguese finest grapes. A um, very small grape and has a very low yield um, and tends to be blended in, in um, port, but more recently it's been starting to be used as a blend in table wine. And it is aged in oak for 12 months, so it's got that really smoky, oaky, beautiful aroma to it. It's got this nice, dark, luscious color. I like that. I want to sniff this all day. And we're about to have some background situation going on. So just, just ignore that. <laughs> smells like licorice. Very strong and fragrant. Chocolate. Dark, dark fruit. Dirt. It tastes like, like blackberries, plums, blueberries, toasty oak. It's a big mama too. It's bright, but it's big. It tastes expensive. It's just a really, really delicious wine. I think you guys are gonna love these. Food, no food. I don't even care. I just so grateful. <laughs> For real. If this was a plant or a flower, it would definitely be violets. This is something, a plant that gets established and it just like, uh, I'm here. I'm here every year, I'm old, I'm close to the earth, you know, what kind of plant would that be? That tree right there, you see right behind me, because it's like big and bold and just beautiful. Ooh, how do you say cheers in Portuguese? Hold on. Oh, duh. Felicidades. Dogs barking. All right, well, 